After serving the district for 33 years, the Aranui New World will close. This film footage is of the surroundings and also the inside of Aranui New World. Walking down Breezes Road towards Pages Road. This is Iona Presbyterian Church. In 1912, the first store was built on the corner of Pages and Breezes Roads, where the mobile petrol station is today. The corner has changed a lot over the last hundred years. Shops have come and gone. We've had three new post offices. The tram first went down Pages Road in 1887. And 1905 was the first electric tram. Because of the tram, Aranui and Wainoni became populous. People could travel to work in town and home again. This is looking back down Breezes Road. There's new post office sorting rooms, the dairy and hairdressers. This corner of breezes and pages is very similar to what it was in the previous footage that Eric Rhodes took in the 1950s. The buildings themselves haven't changed much. This is the New World site. In 1972 a number of houses were pulled down to make way for the new New World building, as well as the post office and the other shops around the corner from it, and Pizza Hut. This is the site of the second store in the area, the general store, and the dairy and hairdressers. The Aranui Cycles and Hardware has been open for decades. About 2002-2003 the store was divided into two and the Salvation Army has been renting it since. Shortly after New World closed, Alex, the proprietor of Aranui Cycles and Hardware, shifted to Wellington for work purposes and the cycle shop closed. So people looking for bargains on the last day. The school zone light flashes 40 before and after school to slow the traffic down for the children going to school. And doctors and physios. This house is 275 Breezes Road. In 2004, my wife and I purchased it. My nephew renovated it totally, and we subdivided it, and he built two over 60s units behind it. Next to the New World Supermarket, two houses were taken away and relocated somewhere else, 
and two over 60s units and three other houses were built on the site. Until the late 1990s, there was a trust bank building in the car park site. It was pulled down when they amalgamated with Westpac. The site was covered over and used for car parking. I remember as a child in the 1970s where that Loho sign is, there used to be a window where you could buy ice creams. Around to the side of New World is the Aranui Pharmacy, renamed Eastern Pharmacy. Then a pub called Bickerton's, opposite used to be Pizza Hut. Next to the pharmacy is our local MP's office, Leanne Dalzell. Next to her is a fish and chip shop, and then a hairdresser's, a second hand shop, and then Regal Roast on the corner. Spickerton's pub used to be Pizza Hut inappropriately named Bickertons after Professor Bickerton. Over the fence here is part of the old camping ground. There were motel units and a house there until recently. The opposition to New World bought this site along with other sites around New World to stop them from expanding. This is why New World ultimately closed and the pack and save was built on Wanoni Road. I will say no more. This post office and sorting rooms was opened in 1964. About 2002, the new post office sorting room was opened 
but there's no local post office. Ray Frost built that house, 320 Pages Road. Introducing Kevin. He has worked at the supermarket probably longer than anybody else. The Aranui Hall, 305 Breezes Road, built in 1926. St Ambrose next door, established in 1908. And the Aranui Place Centre behind it, established in 1954. This film I took of Ruth, my wife, pregnant with our son David, and Kimberly, our daughter, going to New World for the last shop. You'll see in the film footage that Kimberly buys a peanut slab as the very last item sold at the Anunui New World, and the very last lotto ticket, which we haven't yet checked. Perhaps I'll do that soon. You'll see in the next footage too of the opening of Pack and Save that Kimberly is the first customer where she bought a chocolate bar. Yeah, I am. That don't mean... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we need some cat food. Sort of had to have dog food last night. Did she? I thought heaps of cat food the other day.
Can we get some nuts? Cashew nuts. Shakina, the last. Hold up the last product. What's the last thing bought in the shop? Um, last thing was beans. Oh, you hold one up, Ruth? Hold one? Yeah. <laughs> Cadbury, be please. Cadbury, fruit and nut. You say thank you, Kimberly. <laughs> Is this closing too? You can buy a lot ticket as well. Yeah. <laughs> I've got film at home from 50 years ago of the shops that used to be here. Sister of the redundant man looking for a job. Imagine if we won. The last one.